At first glance, this looks fake. CGI motion capture, something too polished to be real, but it's not. What you're seeing is real. Boston Dynamics has just unleashed the new fully electric Atlas robot, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen. This thing isn't just walking, it's reacting, adapting, moving with a kind of purpose and personality that's genuinely unsettling. It's agile, it's eerily human, and it's powered by AI that can process its environment faster than most of us can think. This isn't robotics. This is the future knocking, or maybe kicking the door down. But before we talk about this cool new robot, do you know what year Boston Dynamics was founded? Is it 2017, 2005, 2021, or 1992? Let us know in the comments below. Boston Dynamics has come a long way since those early clunky robot dog days. Remember Big Dog? It looked like a terrifying science project on legs, but over the years, they've leveled up, blending robotics, AI, and insane engineering to create machines that move more like us than ever. Their old Atlas robot already blew minds with parkour and backflips, but now they've gone full electric. The new Atlas isn't just agile. It's smooth, fast, and scary smart. It's easily the most advanced humanoid robot we've ever seen, and honestly, it's starting to feel less like a robot and more like a real being. And that's precisely why the new Atlas robot is such a game changer. First off, the look. If you've seen Boston Dynamics' previous Atlas, you probably remember it as that slightly clunky hydraulic-powered gymnast of a robot doing backflips in a warehouse. Impressive, absolutely, but still very robotic. Now, the new Atlas is fully electric, completely redesigned from the ground up, and honestly, it looks like it stepped out of a sci-fi movie. Gone are the exposed hydraulics and mechanical limbs. The new Atlas has a sleek, compact build with smoother, more human-like proportions. You could almost mistake it for a person in a suit until it moves. And speaking of movement, this version is way quieter, like creepily quiet. The old Atlas made all kinds of hissing, clanking sounds from its hydraulic system. This one, it glides. You hear the motors hum, sure, but the silence makes its movements feel way more lifelike and honestly, a little unsettling. So why the upgrade? Well, Boston Dynamics officially retired the old old Atlas. And that wasn't just for fun, they hit a limit with hydraulics. The old model had strength and balance, sure, but it lacked flexibility, modularity, and efficiency. The new electric system opens up possibilities for longer battery life, smoother control, and safer operation in real-world environments. Now, let's do a quick side-by-side. -side. On the left, the original Atlas, bulky, loud, functional. On the right, the new electric Atlas, sleek, nimble, almost casual in how it moves. It's like watching an athlete warm up compared to watching a machine go through a checklist. And here's the big deal. This isn't just for show. Boston Dynamics isn't making YouTube robots anymore. This Atlas is being built with real jobs in mind. Mobility in dangerous zones, warehouse work, search and rescue. It's not just a demo bot. It's a prototype for the workforce of the future. So yeah, the new Atlas isn't just a new look. It's a complete evolution. And it raises a big question. How close are we getting to machines that can move, work, and even think like humans? And this is where things start to go from awesome to hold up. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. All of this sounds good, but have you wondered what's powering that creepy smart behavior? It's not just motors and sensors, it's brain power. Serious brain power. Boston Dynamics hasn't dropped every detail, but here's what we know. The new Atlas runs on a next-gen AI stack, likely powered by NVIDIA's Jetson platform or something similar. That means this robot isn't just reacting with pre-programmed motions, it's thinking thinking in the moment. It's doing real-time decision-making, mapping out its surroundings on the fly, and adjusting its path as the environment changes. Picture this. Atlas walks into a room full of scattered tools, uneven ground, maybe even moving objects, and it doesn't freeze or follow a script. It adapts on its own. That's thanks to dynamic path planning combined with spatial awareness that's honestly kind of freaky. It can predict and react faster than most people would in 
in the same situation. What we're seeing now is a huge leap from the old days of robots doing choreographed routines. In recent test footage, Atlas picks up boxes it wasn't expecting, changes its route mid-walk and balances while carrying uneven loads, all without a human telling it what to do. That kind of autonomy isn't just impressive, it's a glimpse at the future. We're moving from robots that perform to robots that perceive, learn, and solve problems in real time. And if that doesn't give you chills, just keep on watching. As you've seen by now, Atlas doesn't walk like any of those clunky robots you see around. Atlas is different. This thing doesn't just walk in a straight line. It runs, jumps, balances on uneven ground. And yes, it can still pull off those insane backflips. But what's wild is how natural it all looks now. Its movements actually mimic human muscle patterns. Fluid, reactive, almost instinctual. We're not talking about some circus trick robot. This kind of agility has real-world applications. Imagine Atlas navigating rubble after an earthquake, climbing through collapsed buildings in a rescue mission, or even helping move supplies through war zones. No human could go in safely but Atlas could. And the precision? It's scary accurate, picking up oddly shaped objects, adjusting its grip in real time. It's like a gymnast and an engineer fused into one. It's not just impressive, it's potentially life-saving. And honestly, we've never seen anything quite like it. Now, the reason Atlas is so revolutionary is that it's unlike any other robot that's currently on the market. It's leaps ahead of the competition, literally. All right, so we've got the big three humanoid robots out there. Atlas from Boston Dynamics, Optimus from Tesla, and Apollo from Apptronic. Each of these bots is aiming for something a little different, but all of them are trying to revolutionize how we think about robots in everyday life. Let's start with Tesla's Optimus. It's all about making warehouse labor more efficient. Think heavy lifting, moving boxes, and handling repetitive tasks. Basically, making the job easier for humans and cutting down on labor costs. Then there's Aptronics Apollo, which is going after mobility. It's not just about lifting things. It's about moving around in complex environments like warehouses or even on construction sites, offering support where humans can't easily go. But Atlas? Well, it's in a class of its own. Boston Dynamics has mastered movement, AI, and real-time adaptation. Atlas can run, jump, flip, and even do backflips, literally performing tricks that would impress any gymnast. Its ability to adapt to its environment in real time is its secret sauce. The big question is, is Atlas being designed for the real world, or is it all just a show for the future? With its incredible physicality, it might be more about proving what's possible. But who knows? Maybe it's prepping for something way more advanced than just lifting boxes. And if the experts are to be believed, then we're definitely not ready for Atlas. So what's next for these robots? Boston Dynamics has been pretty clear about their goal. They want to push boundaries, but where exactly is the line? As impressive as Atlas, Optimus, and Apollo are, we're still in the early stages. The real challenge is figuring out how to take these robots out of controlled environments and into real-world applications. In the next decade, these robots could easily be living in our homes, helping the elderly with daily tasks like getting up, moving around, or even offering companionship. Imagine an Atlas-like bot walking in to assist someone who needs mobility support. It sounds futuristic, but it's not too far off. Then there's the security side of things. We could see robots patrolling neighborhoods or office buildings, enforcing security much more efficiently than a human could. They'd be able to detect intruders, analyze threats, and respond in real time. The possibilities are endless, but that raises the question, are we ready? It's one thing to be amazed by their abilities in controlled settings, but having them in our homes or public spaces, that's a whole different level. Sure, they've got the tech, but do we have the infrastructure and the ethics to handle this inevitable future? Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.